In 2017, Kawasaki introduces their brand new, completely different, new motorcycle. The Kawasaki Vulcan S650 Cafe. Completely different. Cue the intro. So, I have the brand new, completely different Kawasaki Vulcan 650S Cafe bike versus the other Kawasaki Vulcan S650. Completely different bikes. This one has a, one different type of tire. That one's got a very the exact same tire. All right, you know what? Forget about it. They're the exact same bike. They, there's one difference. Let me show you to you right now. This, the bullet fairing. That's it, and it's only a couple hundred bucks difference. It's the same bike, so if you're wondering like, oh, do I get the cafe, do I, do I get the cafe? If you want that bullet fairing, get the cafe. The other difference is the paint, the paint, the paint scheme. This is kind of like a cafe paint scheme. It's got like the stripe in the back. It's got these little things to kind of look like, you know, it's like tank Krabby pads, like on a Bonneville or something. That's it, let's get this bike out of the way. Yo, why is there always a leaf stuck in these things? So you guys have seen me take up this bike against a CVO Road King, against a brand new Street Glide, against the, the 2.3 liter Triumph Rocket, and this thing always comes out on top. It's a very awesome bike. It's also a bike that can be, that's great for entry level riders. Now the interesting thing about this bike is they didn't create a whole new motor just for the 650 Vulcan S. They were a little smarter than that. And that's where they were, they were able to keep the price under less than, you know, around like $8,000 for a brand new one. What they did was they pulled the motor out of the Kawasaki Ninja 650, which is also the same motor that's in this guy, the Kawasaki Versus 650. Also a great bike. The biggest difference is, is this kind of sits up tall and this could be more, this could be an adventure bike, sport bike. And the way they gear it, this has more horsepower, less torque. The Vulcan 650S has more torque and a little bit less horsepower. So I've told you guys before about the ergo fit, how the handlebars and the pegs and the seat all have different positions that can seat a lot of different size riders from you know, short guys to tall guys, how it's a perfect bike for entry level riders and for a lot of other experienced riders. And I've taken this bike up against tons of other really, really fast cruiser bikes. But now I'm gonna take this bike up against the fiercest component it's ever came up against. That's the clock. I'm gonna see if I can do a zero to 60 time in less than three seconds on this bike. Let's go take it for a spin. All right, guys, before we do the test drive, let's do the words of wisdom. Isaiah 12, 2. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. All right, now let me show you guys this bike. Let me just show you. This bike that I talk a lot about. I get messages all the time, multiple, maybe, maybe not multiple ones a day, I don't read all the messages. But I get a lot of messages of people saying, I bought this motorcycle because of one of your videos. And I think Kawasaki did a really bad job at marketing it. Because honestly, I didn't even know about it until I bought one. I bought one with a bunch of bikes, had no idea what I was getting into. And I was like, man, this bike's just a, you know, it's a small bike. It's a small little 650. It's a, it's a 100% just, it's only for entry level riders. It's just a cooler looking, you know, cruiser bike. And then I got on it, I rode it, and then I was like, holy cow, this thing's awesome. And then I started doing some research, and I'm like, wow, it's got a Ninja 650 motor in it. I love the Ninja 650, and I love the Versus 650. And there's just so many, so many good things about this bike that I had to, oh man, getting a little low on fuel, that I had to have it. So what we're gonna do is gonna do a little test drive. So nimble. I'm gonna show you guys some of the reasons why this is good for a huge range of riders. And then, I don't normally do this, but I'm gonna try to do a, I'm gonna try to do a couple zero to 60s on this bike. And I'm gonna see if I can get this thing into the sub three seconds. I really, really think I can. That's my goal. So one of the great things about this bike is I think it's a, if you're like, hey, what's a good, 
a lot of times entry level bikes are just that they're entry level bikes and once you ride them for a little while you're like oh this is you know it's not fast and it's not it, it, it's really lacking in a lot of things but it's great for new riders it's great for new riders because it's light and weight and because you know the clutch is nice and light and the throttle you know not, nothing nothing drastic is happening on the throttle when you're doing it now the way this bike is a little bit different you know it's comfortable it's not too it's not, and it's not overly small it is light but it's not super small but most of the power most of the power is at like past 6,000 rpms because it's got the heart and soul of more of a sport bike so you can make mistakes at the lower rpms give it a little too much clutch give it a little you know be, be a little too quick on the clutch a little too much throttle and it's not really gonna it's not gonna get you into trouble Another thing I like about the Vulcan S is they come in really cool paint jobs. They come in flat black, which is, you know, a favorite for a lot of people. They come in green. They come in like a matte red. They've just been, you know, kind of doing a lot of wild stuff with their paint jobs. And then, of course, the cafe, which, you know, kind of looks like a cafe. Doesn't overly look like a cafe bike. Let me fix that mirror. It's also a six-speed gearbox, and it feels like it just got... When you're cruising on the highway, which I'll show you, you know, cruising at the highway speeds or above highway speeds, which you should not do, only on a closed course track. It just, it feels great. It feels comfortable. Let's see what that, uh, let's see what that windshield, what that cafe windshield feels like on higher speeds also. The gear indicator on the uh, on the dash is also really handy. You're not going to see too many entry-level cruiser bikes. Honestly, some entry-level sport bikes don't even have that. It just comes in handy. It's nice to know. You, you glance at it. Oh, okay, I'm in second. Yeah, I, knew, I knew I was in first, second, or third. I was somewhere. But you don't actually know. And sometimes when you're, uh, you know, troubling to get into a neutral, it's nice to know. Okay, I'm in second. All right. You know what, I hate that I'm going to do this, but I ran out of gas yesterday. I don't want to run out of gas again on the highway. Let me just put a... Let me just put a splash of fuel on this thing just so I can... Make it. Now, if I'm successful and I'm able to get this thing three seconds or below... It, 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 it just goes to show it's not... Well... I was going to say it's not about the bike, it's about the rider, but that makes me sound like I'm something special. It's not about how big your bike is. You don't, you know what I mean? It's, it, it, it's, about, it's about how you put the power down. And riding this bike, it's not the fastest bike out there. We have tons of, tons more bikes that are faster. But if I can get this thing in this three seconds or below, I mean, compare that to cars. You know, 2.8 seconds, that's like the Z06, that's like the, the C7 Z06 Corvette, 650 horsepower. It's a fast, fast car. You know, on a hot day when you top off the, uh, the tank of your sport bike and you're kind of like, you know, your knees are clutching, uh, your legs are clutching the tank and stuff. And you just top it off with fuel and now it's all cold because the fuel's all cold because it was underground. Love that. All right, there's my first attempt. Uh, I can do better. I could definitely do better. Let's see what this thing rides like on the... I'm going to do it again up here. I'm going to do it until I get a good one. I'm trying to see where I don't feel any air. I don't know how much that bearing's doing. It looks cool though. I mean, it's not even... It's not taking the wind over. It's taking the wind right here to my face. Well, I guess you got to look at what the purpose of that thing is. It's not the block... It's a, it's a bullet fairing. Not for the sake of blocking wind from me like a windshield. It's for the sake of me and the bike getting more aerodynamic when we tuck down low to go from cafe to cafe. Because when I'm trying to go from Starbucks to square one, I don't, go, I don't go to any of these places. 
I gotta be going fast, I gotta be tucking low. That's just, that's just the, that's just the bottom line. Yeah, so when it comes to highway speeds, I mean, it feels awesome. All right, here's my strategy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this thing to like 7,000, maybe 8,000, and then start, that's, I'm gonna launch off of there. There. I think that was pretty good. Now obviously zero to 60 is not the only comparison of speed or performance, it's not the only, there's other things, you know what I mean? But what it is, is it's the most legal one that you can do. Because the speed limit is 65 and I'm allowed to get to the speed limit as fast as I can, as far as I know. So to wrap it up, this bike is a great bike. It's fun. I I've, 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 I've helped tons of new riders get in this bike, and also guys have been riding for a little for a, for a while. It just, it's, it's an all around has so many good qualities for this thing. Is that where I want to go? No. That wraps it up, guys. Remember, it is not what you're riding, but where you're going. And if you're looking for the baddest gloves out there, check out the M1 Moto gloves. Look at the link below. Also. Any of you guys that watch the Vin Wiki channel, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I was just on it, so I was in the uh, I was in the Bronco video from yesterday. So go check that out. I was pretty uh, I was pretty pumped to be on it, and it was a lot of fun. And I, I made a bunch of other videos with them. So check that one out. We'll see you guys later.